Okay, so what I've got here then is basically that if you want to have what you wish for um, with the Nine of Cups here and the King of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles is here, but it's reversed. I feel like there's something that you're cutting out that is not giving you life. Like it feels like it's sucking the air out of you. But then also this is requiring like you to slowly and steadily move forward towards what you want and not be afraid of it. Sorry, my camera's falling down. Um, Cause there is a, there's, um, it's almost like there is a chance of not fulfilling this. Because the advice, now this is peculiar. I want to pull clarifiers for this because in the advice position, I got the storm and then fulfillment, like not being, it not being fulfilled. But how is that advice? Like, let's see what they're trying to say here. Okay, there's something that you're walking away from that was sad that wasn't fulfilled. It was chaos. It, there's this chaos yeah and it's 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 like heartbreaking for you and I feel like it's going to cause yeah it's gonna cause some kind of um, like you have to be really careful about how you do it It's the person that you're walking away from. I feel like it's a person, like I really do, but it might be your, it's represents a person, but I also feel like it represents your chaotic ways too. So, um, but there's this person I feel like that holds you back, even if it's not their intention. Yeah. It's like you're escaping. Um, I've got the eight of swords in reverse. And with the Eight of Cups, and this this is actually a happy card, and even though it looks sad, it's walking away from sadness. And then uh, this Queen of Cups is the next one. This is like um, offering your heart. There's like self-reflection, I think, being done here. Let me see. Um, in your environment, you've got the Two of Cups, so that's really interesting. The Two of Vessels, which is attraction. Oh my gosh, this is so bizarre. The Three of Swords just came out with attraction. Like, are you walking away from someone that you love? There's something about writing something down Um, the moon's in reverse, so something's revealed about a queen of wands. It could be a fire, another fire sign or air sign. Uh, Leo, Aries specifically, actually. Um, let me see why. Okay, what is the three of swords with the two of vessels? Okay, there's a Leo card. The sun, there's something that is revealed about, um, yeah. Something is revealed about someone. There's some some kind of light that's sh uh, shining on a situation. There's something hidden, actually. Let me get one more for the sun. What is this? Yeah. High Priestess in reverse. There's some kind of secrets here. And I think that's what is family secrets. It could have to, do, there's this page of swords that keeps sh showing up on the bottom, like someone's documenting, taking notes, watching. And then it's interesting because this word word card is in your hopes and your fears. And that actually is the same as the strength card, even though it's the number 11 in this deck, which is Leo too. Um, High Priestess is Pisces. Five of, oh, the five of 
Um, cups in reverse. That's um, someone like getting lost in their emotional pain, their thoughts, kind of like um, having like a mental breakdown in a way. But the word word is someone who has strength to go forward in what scares them. Maybe, holy cow, the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Cups both came out. This is, I know this is like... This is some kind of family situation that's really burdensome that maybe you're just having to walk away from is what I'm getting. Yeah, because it's like um, preventing you from having some kind of new start. And that's and I think that's why it's clearing is because you're doing all this other stuff to basically um, alchemize who you are into a new level, a new paradigm, and this situation doesn't fit in anymore. Um, the King of Wands came out uh, for the outcome, and we got the Mirror and the Five of Cups in reverse, which is Ecstasy in reverse. So I feel like there's someone, this person, or this situation is like a reflection um, to you in how maybe you're either irresponsible in some ways, like the ways that you're irresponsible or don't follow through in certain things or are chaotic in certain areas of your life. And that's what you're changing. And so that's why this person or situation is leaving a strength in reverse again. That's why I keep thinking you're dealing with a Leo. Yeah, it's like you're not going to be sad. Um, not that you're not going to be sad. Um, you're not going to be so focused on... I feel like you're giving a lot to this situation is what's going on here. And so because of that, you're not seeing the new opportunities that are available to you. Like, you don't want to miss this opportunity that's coming in. Because I see some kind of big opportunities coming in for you. But you got to finish this um, change here. Which is going to require you facing your biggest fear. So... That's what I have for you. Um, hopefully it helps. Let me know in the comments. Um, and like I said, if you want more guidance, you can always go to my website. You can schedule a personal reading. I'd be glad to do that for you. So, all right. Thank you. So my video stopped recording and I didn't realize it. So um, I wanted to get just one card out. But um, the card that I had gotten was the Ace of Cups with empowerment and the empowerment card is about facing your greatest fears and like I said there's like something about your fear and your fear is actually coming out as affection love having a receiving abundance that's your fear and um, that's why maybe you don't you don't rest. Let's see. Why do we have the four of arrows in reverse? Because you're afraid to receive. You're afraid to receive. Like you're going to feel guilty or something. Yeah. I got the ace of wands in reverse. Clarifying the four of arrows. There's something about being afraid it's like you need rest for the new start to come you're afraid of the new start this is interesting I want to look at your past now because you're trying to figure something out riddle what were you trying to figure out 
Um, it's clarified with the page of vessels, the otter. I almost feel, you know what I feel like? It's like you were afraid to maybe offer love because, um, or affection to someone or someone could have been offering it to you and it was puzzling. <laughs> Um, let me see what this page of um, vessels is. Because this is what's um, behind this whole reading, right? Uh, the hermit in reverse. Could have been dealing with the Virgo. You could have, what this is though, um, with the hermit in reverse, this is like, uh, you were searching within for answers regarding this. And, yeah, I feel like, yeah, it's it, one of those two. It's like either you were afraid to offer love or afraid to receive love from somebody, like the affection, like the close stuff, the intimate, like you might have been keeping everything surface level because you're afraid to go into that cave of ecstasy. Yes, that's what I'm seeing. Okay, so venom in reverse is your on your mind. This is the energy directly above you. And with the ace of stones in reverse. Hmm. See, I feel like... um. There was a, a start, a solid, solid start. And I think it was a relationship. It could be something else. It doesn't have to be a relationship. This could be in um, career, home, right? But it's a, afraid of having, receiving the goods. <laughs> um, but this was something super stable. And it, it's like it didn't... Uh, start off because you were afraid to let go of this fear um oh my god that's so funny i gotta show you okay there was like four cards that came out but i gotta show you what they are okay so three wands you didn't go down this new path you're thinking this is what's on your mind not going down this new path missing missing an opportunity because you're making a choice uh to not have love then we got the four of wands, which is engagement, um, engagement, weddings. It's coming together. This is like a celebration, though. She's like the may. Uh, she's like the um, person that they're honoring here in this card. So I, I feel like it's like you're afraid. Yeah. You're afraid to receive. And that must be because I feel like this is a parent that might be the one you're losing or cutting out of your life somehow. Because what I'm getting is that they may have instilled that in you or it's a pattern generationally passed on. Um, the two of pentacles just came out in reverse. I was gonna, I didn't even ask, but this is about, um, this can be a breakup or, um, losing a soul connection. This could be someone that, um, you actually, this could be an, an intimate partner too, or someone that you thought was like a soulmate. What is this? Um, why is the Ten of Stones here? So down here in your immediate future, we've got the Ten of Stones. We've got the Vessel. And the Ace of Arrows in reverse, which is the Breath of Life. So like this, okay, like this seriously feels like um, something surrounding the home or family is not life-giving. 
It's not life giving. And the two of pentacles just came out reversed. This is why I'm like, this is like a soul, some kind of soul connection or something that is, um, you're losing. So the nine of cups, I'm going to get one more card. Oh, that's interesting. On the bottom, okay, on the bottom of the deck, you, okay, king of cups. Hello, this is a tarot and archetype message for the sign of Taurus, um, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. You could also have North Node there, or it, you could be a cross watcher. So if you're drawn to this message, there's probably a message in here for you. Um, sorry, my table's like rocking that, so I don't want to move it. But anyway, um, so let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be your tarot and archetype message. Okay, so I pulled the oracle cards. Um, I did show you sh me shuffling on camera just because I don't want to take up that much time with shuffling because I sometimes I do it for a while. But um, I want to show you these real quick. I got Meerkat as the first oracle card. And this is about responsibility. And these come these this deck comes with um, like a myth or a story behind it. And so... I wanted to read it to you. It's not that long, but it's responsibility. It says, do you take responsibility seriously or is it easier to blame others or outside influences? There should be a balance between responsibility for others and yourself. Someone may not be honoring their word. Developing altruism is important. Teaching others skills you have mastered is highly honorable. And here's the little story. It says the Ban Bantu tribe of Africa Tell of how meerkats were responsible for assigning color to the animals around them. The meerkats had the power to give color and camouflage to all creatures that wanted it, but to get a coat of color, the animal had to kill a buck eland and bring it a whole to the meerkat community. The hyena thought he would love a coat of color and killed a buck. As he was dragging it to the meerkats, he would be overcome by delicious smell of meat and couldn't resist eating all but the bones the hyena gave the meerkats the bone the bones and expected to receive his new coat the meerkats painted his body but in ugly shapes and colors punishing the hyena for his disrespect the chief meerkat told him if anyone does not keep word with me i will do the same for him the leopard also wanted a colored coat and wanted went out to kill an eland the buck was a fine one, and the leopard brought the, it to the meerkats, unskinned and untouched, lay down, and the chief meerkat and he and the others painted the leopard beautifully. He said, he who keeps his word with me, I will do the same for him. And it says, the magic of the meerkat is about altruism and responsibility. Such small but fierce creatures watch out for the creature for each other and work as a community to educate protect call upon the energy and magic of meerkats when you need help with yourself or someone else to hold to their word or to fulfill responsibilities meerkat energy is also valuable in facilitating teams in difficult conditions so this is interesting because i feel like um just from reading that and then seeing these other cards here I got um, the Seven Star Sisters from the Starseed Oracle. And uh, this is about creations coming to life, what you want to birth through you. Um, express, expression. So what kind of expressions? And then this one, alchemical mutation. This is basically, it's like your body, you're getting an upgrade. Like you're taking some, like an old pattern basically and you know, those patterns, they show up in your body too. So it's like, um, you might feel tired or feel like weird stuff is going on, I guess. Um, and it's because you're stepping into like a new role. And so you have to like change some patterns within you. And I feel like that a lot of that has to do with how you... 
the kind of commitments that you make and your follow through. Does that make sense? Your follow through with them. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. So I'm going to pause it again. I'm going to pull, um, I'm doing a Celtic cross spread, doing, using the archetype and a tarot deck. So I'm going to lay all those cards out and then um, we'll get to it. Okay, I'm actually going to unpause it um, because I got a message. The first message I get is that there's a some kind of temptation coming in to distract you from your responsibility, um, like something that you've already committed to. And it's probably within what you're birthing. Um, so let's see what do we got for... Many. Okay. I got venom for your. Actually, let me go ahead and pause it and I can finish shuffling. Okay, I've got all your cards pulled out except for clarifiers. And I might pause the video a few times because. I really want to go into this deep because there's a, this is like an intense reading is what I'm seeing. So what I'm getting is that there is this alchemical process taking place in within you because you're evolving. And so let me show you what's coming up here. Um, first of all, the energy that you're coming up as is the stone, okay, for the archetype. Now, the stone is kind of like what we're tied to, our center. It's the paradigm, basically, the paradigm that we believe in. So it's really slow to evolve. It's rare that you your whole you have a whole paradigm shift. Um, and so, but this is what you're coming up as. And basically... What this does is it gives us freedom when we're anchored to the stone because then we we act, we think, we believe from this um, source, like there's the center, we believe and act from there all around it. We can fly around, do whatever, because we're tied to this stone. Okay, so, um, so that's the energy you're coming up as. But what I'm looking at is it looks like there's actually going to be um, an evolution in that stone. So a paradigm shift for you. That's really big energy. And so, um, the two cards that came out that, to clarify, I got the queen of arrows, right? Yeah. The queen of arrows and the 10 of bows responsibility so the ten of bows like I feel like you have been um, really committed to a goal like you have cut things out you have um, been really responsible like um, you've been like this doesn't fit in with what I'm doing in my life and so I'm not going to give it any energy so you're, you come off a little bit, probably a little bit cold to some people just because you're not off playing all the time. I feel you being super responsible. But the guardian is what's crossing you. This is a challenge that's coming up in your life. And it's right there, like right there. And the reason why the guardian, the guardian is, is the same as the devil, okay? Um, the reason why the guardian is scary, though, it's because it's our own shadow. And it's what guards the entrance to uh, sex, death, transformation. So it's like the sexuality, the um, things we fear, like there's, it, it guards it. Ecstasy, that was what I was looking for, ecstasy. And so, okay. 
Yeah, that's what that's what's around. That's what's immediate, right? That I, I'm seeing right now. Now I'm gonna use a deck for clarification. I think I'm gonna use my um, this deck right here. So um, give me just a moment. To pause it, real quick. Okay. So I want to see what. Uh, why the guardian is here cross me because for some of you I see okay what I'm seeing is that there is you have been making all these changes in your life and being this queen of swords it's like you've been cutting out the toxic things in your life and because of that I'm showing that there is some loss in um, a family member or someone that is um, toxic to you but's in your life a family member or a situation so it could be like um, a job or a home or something that is it causes you fear but it's not good for you like I mean it it's when I say it's not good for you, what I mean is that you're going in a new direction, you're evolving, and it's holding you back. And it, um, yeah, it's holding you back, and it can't keep holding you back. I keep getting too many cards flying out, but I'm taking note of 